Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Duke, and this is another episode of The Takeaway with our fabulous correspondent, Alex Newman, from sunny Florida. Alex, tell us a little bit about your latest article about Muslim indoctrination in the schools, how schools are actually teaching little kids to be sympathetic to Muslim suicide bombers. Hey, Duke. Well, thank you very much. This really is an incredible story. You know, I had to blink a couple times, pinch myself, make sure I wasn't dreaming. But turns out uh, that in upstate New York, there's a local uh, school district up there. There's a teacher that works for it that created a lesson plan that uh, basically teaches children to be sympathetic to Islamic suicide bombers. And they use uh, interviews with suicide bombers who explain, uh, you know, why they need to suicide bomb because the, the Jews are so bad and, you know, all this kind of stuff. And uh, there's no counterbalance whatsoever. There's no, uh, you know, response from an Israeli or from a Jew who says, uh, you know, hey, maybe you shouldn't be killing us for whatever reason. So it was just a, a shock to see this. And the parents are really upset now. I mean, this, this whole curriculum and the video that goes with it, it's not even critical of the idea of suicide bombing. It basically goes out of its way to justify, to suggest that uh, the Palestinians have a legitimate cause to kill people. Is that right? That is right. And, you know, they even say, you know, they ask the children questions for critical thinking and then they say, you know, possible answers. Why would these people, why would these Arabs kill them, blow themselves up to uh, to kill Jews? And the possible answers are, well, because uh, the, the Jews are oppressing them, they have uh, less land than the Jews, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and, you know, when you think less land than the Jews, when you look at the size of the state of Israel compared to the size of the Arab world, it's, you know, pretty ridiculous. But this is what they're teaching in the schools. And actually, this uh, lesson plan was promoted by the New York State Department of Education. So this was on their official website. They took it down when they started getting comments. And uh, this was even promoted nationwide by uh, some sort of, uh, I think, a PBS um, lesson plan uh, some sort of thing. And so this was available to teachers all across the country. It was promoted to teachers across New York. And so far, we don't even know how many children were subjected to this ridiculous it's course. It's shocking. Not only are the state taxpayers of New York funding this, but PBS, Public Broadcasting, which is funded, of course, by the federal, in, in huge sums by the federal government. Uh, and we asked the question, where is Donald Trump and his promise to just cut off funding for this garbage. They're using uh, public airways now to promote, to promote one-sided views of something as complicated as the, uh, uh, the Arab conflict in the Middle East, the Arab-Israeli conflict in the Middle East. We're indoctrinating kids at very young ages with this. Uh, what was the targeted age group for these kids who had to listen to this nonsense? Uh, you know, I, I think it was actually designed to, to be widely used across uh, different ages. I don't think it was for any specific grade, as I understand it. Uh, actually, the, the school district and the state bureaucracy are being very, very quiet about this now. I think they're hoping the scandal will go away. They're refusing to offer comments or answer questions. And uh, my latest update suggests that they're going to have a, a peace meeting with the parents to try to quell some of the outrage. So maybe we'll learn more at that point. Where is Where are the organizations on the right, the ACLU type organization? Well, where's the ACLU? You would think <laughs> that this would be a classic example of something the ACLU should get involved with. All the justifications for killing Jews are of course religious justifications primarily, uh, based in faith, based in the interpretation of the Quran by the people fighting that, those wars. Uh, but over and beyond that, we've seen across the country, it's not just teaching these kids to be sympathetic to, to terrorist bombers, it, it's mainstream streaming religion. It's having kids in classrooms from New York to California repeating this, the, the, the five pillars of Islam, uh, uh, having week-long discussions where they imagine what it's like to, to live in an Islamic world, what it's like to follow the Quran, reading verses from the Quran. If this had happened with Christianity or Judaism, the ACLU, the, uh, the, all of these left-wing organizations would be absolutely up in arms. There would be injunctions from federal judges where are the organizations on the right? Where are the organizations like the ACLU that should be as bothered by this as they are instances of Christian prayer at graduation? Where are they all on these issues? Well, that's a great question. You know, there there is some local conservative op opposition up in upstate New York. But as you mentioned, this is a nationwide problem. Uh, you have schools, government schools all across the country having children recite the Islamic Shahada, which is, you know, the conversion prayer. Uh, if you look in some of the world history textbooks that they're using, they'll have 15 or 20 pages on how great Islam was and how you know all these wonderful things came from Islam. And then they'll have a few pages to demonize Christianity and how evil it was. And this is becoming very common. So basically, all religions are okay in the schools. You know, it could be Hinduism, Buddhism, yoga, you know, any kind of Islamism, any kind of uh, you know false religion out there that they want to promote, as long as it's not you know Christianity, the Bible, you know, Judeo-Christian values. Everything else is fair game. And we're seeing this not just in the United States, but all across the Western world, 
And when you realize that the Western world, I mean, our civilization is actually founded on, uh, you know, biblical basis, the Judeo-Christian morality, um, you realize that we have a very big problem here. Yeah, it is staggering. I hear all the time at the university that um, we have to teach kids non-Western values because they understand. They've already understand Shakespeare. They already understand the Bible, and which, of course, is not true. I get kids at the university every single day who've never read the Bible, have no idea the origins of Western culture, can't articulate Western history at all. And the argument is, is that we must jettison the teaching of American and Western history so that we can accommodate these non-Western ideas without those kids having any kind of foundation in their own culture whatsoever. Uh, last question for you real quick, Alex. You talked to some of the parents there. Uh, what is their attitude towards all of this? They are really, really upset. Actually, I talked to uh, a spokesperson for uh, a local education awareness group, and uh, they are outraged. They're, uh, they're hoping to turn this around. They don't want their children indoctrinated in the schools, which is exactly what's happening. And, uh, you know, one of the parents I talked to said, this is a war for the minds and the hearts and the souls of our children. And she's absolutely right. And right now, the American people are losing that war. Well, even if the school pulls this nasty curriculum, the indoctrination is going to continue in a thousand That's other right. ways with Islamic issues and a thousand other things. Time to pull your kids out, mom and dad. Alex, thank you so much for joining us. Read all of our Alex's articles at freedomproject.com. And we'll have another takeaway with you next week. If you enjoyed this video and all of our videos, please consider a tax-deductible donation so we can keep the whole thing free for you. I'm Dr. Duke, thanks for watching.